Hello guys. How was after Aisha Yusufu said she will work against Peter Obi if he becomes vice president to anybody? Hmm. See what Charlie Boris said that got Nigerians talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Charlie Boy, a popular Nigerian musician, has reacted to the viral video of a Nigerian activist, Aisha Yusuf, saying his opinion if peradventure Peter Obi becomes the vice president or running mate to any presidential aspirant. In the video, Aisha was held saying that she will work against any presidential ticket that portrays Peter Obi as a vice president. She questioned why Nigerians always ask the best among us to be the second. She went further to compare the case of Peter Obi with that of women who are always given the position of deputy in Nigeria political space. She described Peter Obi as someone who cares for the masses and always ready to, to listen, learn and unlearn. According to her, Peter Obi is not perfect, but he has empathy. This has resulted to several reactions from Nigerians with many throwing support at her, including Charlie Boy. See his exact reaction. Who is okay? Please pardon me. He said, We all will fight against that in this country. They know they allow the good to be heard of them. Okay. And another person said, Who is Obi? Or what do you call him? Is there any excellent record of him? Kindly state five things he did as a governor that are world class. Another person said, Obi is bigger than most politicians in Nigeria. Why make him a running mate? That is wrong. He has passed the level of vice. He is presidential candidate to chicken grow states. It is it isn't isn't it a zero sum game? Isn't it an OB fashion or is it, it a facing Nigerian priority? I don't understand what this person is saying. If you truly believe OB has integrity, character, and competence to face Nigeria, you should be very interested in getting him as close to the seat and wheels of power uh, as is possible. Na suffer, suffer, you you catch monkey, but of course you are entitled to your views. This is just another perspective, and that is the beauty of multiple voices in every conversation and democracy. Shalom. Me too. I will wash my hand off. Thanks, Aisha. It won't happen. Nigerian won't support it. These are reactions from Nigerians. So you see, uh, Nigerians are already, you know, protesting you know, against Peter Obi being the being a vice uh, presidential candidate. Okay, they said Peter Obi is good. How can the good person be the deputy? So you know that the deputy. When you say, please pardon me. When you say the vice president, the vice presidents have nothing or less to offer you get so the vice president is always yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir you understand so they see that if it will be becomes a vice president that thing that is in him he might not be able to unleash it you know to bring nigeria from where it is today i think that is what they are protesting against anyway time never reached 2027 still day far Make we talk the one way we day now. In another news headline, the former military head of state, General Dusalami Abubakar, retired, has called on the federal government of Nigeria, led by President Bola Tinubu, to address the escalating economic crisis affecting Nigerians. 
in a recent meeting with the leadership of the Campaign for Democracy and the Human Rights in MENA, Niger State, the retired general expressed deep concern over the deteriorating economic conditions, emphasizing that the leadership has reached critical levels. The hardship has reached critical levels, I meant to say. General Dusalami, known for his role in transitioning Nigeria from military rule to democracy in 1999, noted that the country's economy is in dire strait and the current situation has left millions of citizens struggling to meet their basic needs. He specifically highlighted the, 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 the steep rise in the cost of transportation, of fuel and education, as well as the general scarcity of funds as key indicators of the crisis. He said the situation is becoming unbearable for Nigerians. The price hikes in transportation, the fuel and the school fees, coupled with the general lack of financial resources, are making life increasingly difficult for the average citizens, Adu Salami said during the meeting. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. If this is your first time, you know, of coming out here, I beg, subscribe to this channel. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.